For my painting, I chose quote 5, which talked about what slaves did at night. At the top, there's the night sky with a moon and lots of bright stars. This here is the house where the men sleep at night, and you can tell their beds weren't very comfortable and they slept really close together. Here is the children who frolic and play while the men sleep. On the far right is the women who card cotton at night, and carding cotton basically means to separate it. Above the women is a field where the cotton is grown. How does your painting represent Clementine Hunter's artistic style? I said that my painting represents her style because it's really simple. Obviously, the faces of the people are not very detailed, and everything is really easy to look at. How does your painting represent the quote you picked? Be specific, give specific details as to how your painting represents that part of the quote. My painting represents quote 5 because it shows what slaves did after sundown. That's not what the whole quote was about, but that was part of it. The quote explained the women separating cotton, children playing at night, and men sleeping, and I tried to illustrate that in my painting. What have you learned and taken away from this art integration process about slavery? I learned that even in bad times, slaves knew how to make it better. I say this because Clementine Hunter suffered slavery, but she still found something she loved to do, which was paint. And the children can find a way to have fun even when everyone else is working. How does doing art such as this project help you learn history? This helps me learn history because I think doing art projects get the lesson into my head more than just sitting around and reading about it. And I say this because I remember my art projects and what they were about more than I remember something that I would read specifically from a book.